Hey everyone, I was just running some vaults and it seems like every day I run into people making the same mistakes. Um, and even though I try to tell people in world chat, not that that's the best way to do it, or I tell people in my party while we're in the vault, don't do this, and they still do it. Um, so I wanted to put out a video because if you make these mistakes, you're holding yourself back as well as whoever's in your group and it can be pretty annoying for them. Um, so I wanted to let everyone know about these mistakes and, and what you need to do when you're in a vault, especially as a free to play player, because you can actually get up to 1600 hilts a week from the vault. And that's huge as free to play. So, but if you make these mistakes, you will not get even close to that. So if you look on the top right here, there's a weekly cap on hilts you can get, um, from participating and chests that you can open. So the hilts here, that's just by doing a vault, no matter how far you get, you get 40 hilts. That's what that limit is about. Um, within the vault though, you open chests and you can get hilts there. And that's how you can get your up to 1600 a week. And those don't count towards this cap. This is just about participation. However, if you look at the, the chests, um, so I can still get 160 participation. If I do four more vaults this week, I, I'll, I'll get all the participation hilts I can. But seven out of 40, I only have seven chests left that I can open, and that's because of all these people that make these mistakes. I'm going to end up getting a lot less hilts than I could have from the vault this week, as it always happens, and that's why I'm making this video. So... Once that 7 out of 40 gets to 0, any chest that gets opened in the vault will no longer give you hilts or golds. It'll just drop the Essentia, which doesn't really matter. So, as you're running through the first three floors here, you're just killing the mobs. They drop Essentia, pick it up. That's not really that important um, for progressing your character. Uh, what's important is the hilts you get from the chests and the gold. So here I'm telling someone in my group, this is the first mistake that people make, is you need to put on your gladiator or whatever your PvP paragon tree that you use is from the beginning, from the first floor, because there is a chance that you'll end up fighting immortal players on one of these first few floors. It's if people make the mis one of the other mistakes of not killing the wardens when they pop up. Um, so, every now and then, right here, two Wardens pop out. These guys that kind of look like they're flying around. Um, you need to kill them, and at least just keep hitting them so they don't alert the Immortals. If they're just sitting there not getting hit, there's a little progress bar above them, and then it gets to the end, Immortals are alerted, and the Immortal players can enter the vault and fight you on whatever floor you're on. So, one tip um, I have in regards to this is save some of your abilities, uh, like for me, my banner here, for when uh, the Wardens pop out so you can kill them quickly. Because you, ne you never know, sometimes five Wardens pop out in a row and they're all over the place and so you just want to kill them quickly. Um, and a little side note here, see how I ran over to that chest? And that was because of, if you click Shadows and then Dark Clan, your leader will set a uh, Dark Clan Focus, which is to open, in our case, and in most cases, to open vault chests. Um, everyone in your clan, you know, does that. And it's pretty easy to hit that cap. So that's the most common one that I've I've seen. Um, but in order for it to count, you have to be the one who actually runs over and op clicks on the chest. So I run over and click on it, even though I don't... I, I leave the loot, kind of because I feel bad opening the chest. Um, and so I'm like, oh, it wasn't me. Just run away and then grab the loot after. But I also, you know, since that's most people's clan focus, I only do a few of those chests. I don't do ever. I don't try to run ahead and do every single one. That was kind of annoying when people do that. You gotta leave some for other people. Little tip here, if you didn't know, stand on these squares. Each player needs to stand on one of the squares to go to the next floor. I can't believe there's still some people who don't know that. Um... I can't believe there's still people who don't know about the other mistakes I'm going to mention as well, but um, 
So you want to save your abilities from the wardens pop out, like I said. Um, opening the chests in here, each one will give you 40 health, whether you open it or someone else in your party does. Um, but only until you've reached your weekly cap on opening chests, like I said. Once that hits zero, whether you open the chest or a party member does, only Essentia will come out for, that you can get. There will be no hilts or gold that you can get from it. So this is why, you know, ideally, you every single chest you open, you're going to get the hilts uh, from it. But the big, big mistake that I'm going to mention prevents that and will keep you from gaining uh, some of your hilts that you could be getting. And that is... Um, don't open chests on the fourth floor until you defeat the immortals because that is for the most part unlikely that you will the fact that they became immortals pretty much means they're some of the strongest players um, on your server so 99% of the time you won't beat them unless you have a, a really solid group um, but it is fun it's a different type of PvP I enjoy doing it and there is always that chance that you will um, beat them. Always heal up right here before you go to the fourth floor. That's a little tip. One of the mistakes that I've seen people make is they leave on the third floor. That's because it used to be, you know, the rules have changed now where they're afraid of losing loot if they die here on the fourth floor. Um, which I, would, I don't think, yeah, I'm about to die. But point is, don't open the chest here. Look, this guy opened that chest. Now, whether I pick up the hilts right now or not, which I do, because what the heck, it still counts as you getting them, and when we die, we're gonna lose them. Um, so, you don't open chests on the fourth floor. Okay, everyone's afraid that that's gonna happen, and you're gonna lose the loot, so that's why a lot of people don't even go to the fourth floor. But that's, that's my second biggest mistake I'm talking about. Now watch. When, when you leave, we just died. On the fourth floor, the immortal players killed us. And look at that. The 17.5k gold and the 40 hilts right there. With the little red X's. That's what was lost. Okay. And it, I could have gotten it. You know, if we defeated the players, um, or I could have just not lost it if you just didn't open the chest. All right. So, problem is now that chest that was opened on the fourth floor counted towards my weekly cap. I would be at eight out of forty still available to open, but it's only seven because someone opened that chest on the fourth floor, and that. Uh, now counted towards my weekly cap even though we lost the loot from it okay so this is the biggest mistake is don't open chests on the fourth floor unless you defeat all the immortals then you can open the chest and you can gain the rewards if you open it first then die you lose the rewards and it still counts towards your weekly cap all right so this is that's the biggest mistake that i see people making and it's very annoying uh, for people who know what they're doing when someone does that, especially like when I, in my case, I'd always tell people in my group and they still, for the most part, someone ends up opening a chest. Um, so biggest mistake involved, don't open chests on fourth floor. And the second biggest mistake is people not even going to the fourth floor. It's totally fine. You're not going to lose anything. Uh, this is as of a few months now that they've how they've changed how it works. So you won't lose anything as long as you don't open the chests. All right, so go to the fourth floor, don't open the chests. If you defeat the immortals, then you can open the chest. And I'll show you right here, this is one time where we actually did defeat the immortals. Um, but like I said, just prevent these mistakes and um, spread the word. I can't believe there are still people who are, you know, Paragon 300 plus and still don't know so some people still don't know any of these things that it's okay to go to the fourth floor you're not going to lose anything as long as you don't open the chest 
and that you shouldn't open the chest um, until you defeat the immortals. And then, you know, the more minor mistakes are, you know, put on your PvP Paragon Tree right from the beginning, um, and save certain abilities, you know, depending on your class, for when the Wardens pop out. So, we're running through to the end of the fourth floor here, there's a little boss guy. Take care of him. Uh, he doesn't drop anything that great, just a bunch of essentia. Um, and then there's an extra chest behind the portal here. And that's it. So, uh, spread the word on these mistakes when you're in a group. Um, you know, spread the word. Um, very first thing I always do is check everyone's paragon tree that they have active. Um, or even if you just want to just say it, put on gladiator or put on your PVP spec. Um, it's, I mean, I've even forgotten to do it myself. Um, because my setup, my build here is kind of my support, um, class that I use for higher level raids and then for dungeons, uh, with some certain adjustments. Um, so I've got the version of Sanctuary, uh, well, it's called Sanctuary, of Conjuration of Light that um, lasts five seconds instead of three, only it's in an area. Of course, I have my banner. It's got to be the one that stays with you so it doesn't get destroyed. Now, this is more of a PvP thing. Um, explosive Shield will knock them back. It's kind of like a little interrupt. Um, my normal support class has the version of shield glare that shoots the laser so I can stand back. Um, cause that's the class I use on like raids that I'm, you know, easily killed in. Um, and then that's just a normal part of my, uh, support build and that, you know, this can be changed. Um, I think this is the banner. You got to run the banner. Um, and some version of conjuration of light is, is very helpful. Um, that's just a little tip for, um, crusaders raiding the vault but uh like i said look out for these mistakes um tell people in your party put on gladiator or your pvp spec uh and don't open chests on the fourth floor until you defeat the immortals that is the biggest thing if you do that and you open 40 chests and each one has 40 health that's 1600 health that is huge especially for free to play um but if people are opening a chest or even multiple chests on the fourth floor and then you get killed by the immortals, those are the those chests now count towards your weekly cap, and that's that much less hilts um that you're gonna be able to get out of the vault. Uh so hopefully you learned something here. Um like I said, spread the word, tell people when you're in a group, um and don't make these mistakes. Cause it's pretty annoying and when you do it right you can really get a lot out of the vault um so if you learned something here uh if you like it you appreciate it want to support me um please like and consider subscribing if you want to see more thank you and i will see you in the next one